Welcome back to Politically Speaking with Gene Covison. All right, let's drill down now to the bottom line in San Diego Stadium standoff. A money pit that needs filling to the satisfaction of the Chargers Football Club and its mothership, the National Football League. And joining us right now are Professor Jim Lackritz, who teaches sports marketing at San Diego State University, and pollster John Neenstead of Competitive Edge Research and Communication. And we hope to get a competitive edge on this discussion here. Professor, um, I'm just wondering, you're not given the proprietary information, but just looking at it, is the business model for the Chargers and the Raiders really sustainable and profitable? I mean, they're doing all right here, but are they, they going to be worth $2 billion like Steve Ballmer paid for the Clippers? Or don't they have to monetize that somehow, really, make the product work? Well, they have to make the product work, but that's the NFL's job. The NFL, for years, their business is to make sure that every single franchise is successful. And uh, that's their goal. And the minute that they go to Los Angeles, um, they're immediately improving uh, their value of the franchise. On paper. On paper. On paper. On paper. Correct. So, so are the Raider fans are going to turn out in Carson pretty well. The Chargers maybe not so much. And, and their Charger fans going to come up and fill a lot of those seats too from San Diego? That remains to be seen. But if you look at the track record of what Los Angeles uh, has done, um, they didn't support the Raiders. Even though you think the Raiders are going to be popular, they were not supported as heavily as they wanted. And they didn't do a great job with the Rams. Remember that both teams left Los Angeles. So uh, the fact is it's, it's kind of remains to be seen and the Chargers right now might be playing third place amongst uh, the, Ram the Rams and the, right. and the Raiders. Will the prodigal teams return and, and make it? Uh, John, your polling numbers show really a good degree of support for an initiative to keep the Chargers in town. The, uh, the Chargers polling shows, well, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Um, so uh, given that, that people will tell you, likely voters, and, and then we find out either they go to the polls or not, or sometimes they change their minds, um, you really believe that this is a viable initiative should it reach the voters? Because right now things seem to be falling apart. Gene, voters believe it's a viable initiative. At least 50% plus one uh, believe it is. Uh, I should point out 41% in our survey uh, oppose the measure, 51% support, but that's majority support. And I think that sits well with the NFL. It shows the NFL that San Diegans do support their team. There's certainly a lot of Charger fans. There's 62% of the uh, population is a charge, or the voter electorate is a Charger fan, and they certainly get the idea that the Chargers shouldn't leave. They don't want the Chargers to leave. They think it would be a bad thing for the city of San Diego. Isn't that soft support somewhat? Because a lot of those people don't attend the games. It's kind of maybe oh. a, a, a hundred thousand that populate those stadiums over the course of uh, eight ten. A little more than 20% are big Charger fans okay. by their own admission. Another 35% or so are casual Charger fans. The rest are non-fans. Uh, this is an unfair question, I suppose, Professor, but uh, looking at a crystal ball here, um, we know the Chargers and Raiders are making a case for uh, Carson, but uh, the big money, and I, I suppose he's a, 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 in many ways annoying to them, but the league does have this multi-multi-billionaire Cronky who wants to come to Los Angeles. You see that being uh, colonized first by him and his billions, and then they're going to figure out if the Raiders and Chargers can pull in behind him. I think uh, the decisions can be made on Kroenke first, and what happens with the Chargers and the Raiders becomes contingent as to whether the NFL uh, decides to let Kroenke build a stadium in Inglewood and to move the Rams there. Now, he's going to have a second locker room there for one or the other, and, and of course, y you, know, you do know, and, and <laughs> we all believe, that the NFL is going to continue to leverage those openings there well, in the market. Right. They've said that they don't want three teams there, but they would like to have two teams there. So. The question is whether there would be two stadiums and two teams or one stadium and two teams. John, you got th some thoughts on this? I mean, just as a, uh, well, I'm not going to say a casual observer. You're very, uh, you're very astute about what's going on there. What, what do you think down the road is going to happen? Could San Diego maybe be put back in a second echelon? And if they can't make things work here, the league's going to say, okay, we'll put you in that second locker room and worry about the Raiders later. Maybe send them to St. Louis. It's anybody's guess. I don't know what goes on in those NFL owner meetings. It's up to them. Uh, but I certainly think that San Diego's objective here of the elected officials is partly to put San Diego's best foot forward. You know, San Diego supports the team. We will fight for our chargers, the mayor said in his state of the city address. So I think that resonates well with the, the NFL owners down the road and, and now. Your thoughts, Jim, about if we were to lose the Chargers, um, there's going to be some backfilling or some thought that, well, since uh, San Diego is part of the L.A. market, nobody's going to come in here. But I know that they like this market. They, uh, they certainly like having Super Bowls here. There's been three of them. 
Um, but do you think that the Chargers would be awarded, say, um, another team, perhaps if Jacksonville really finally got sick of its uh, surroundings there and wanted to come here? How do you think that would shake out if the Chargers lose this team, or San Diego lose the Chargers? Well, first of all, we hope it doesn't happen. Right. But there obviously has to be contingency plans in place for if this does happen, and I'm sure they're thinking about this down the road. There's a lot of uh, pieces that would have to fit and fall together to be able to make something else work. And so for right now, um, I don't think it would be viable in the near future, but for maybe five years down the line, we might be looking at possibly another opportunity to, to have an NFL team. John, we're looking uh, at about 45 seconds to give you the last word. What would you be your thought as a pollster here as to would, uh, would the San Diego market accept another team coming in besides the Chargers? Uh, what do you think? Uh, that's a, that's a great question, Gene. I don't know what the answer to that is. I think they would. I'm going to ask you to guess. <laughs> well, I'm going I'm to guess that yes, because there are enough football fans, NFL fans in the city to support a team. I think that's a, a logical word, place to go. But they do love the Chargers. They don't want to lose the Chargers. They recognize that it's good for the city, and they recognize that Charger football is fun to go to, and they are Charger fans. So they don't want to lose the Chargers. Okay, gentlemen, we're going to leave it here. Uh, this, uh, this has been a hot mess for so long. Let's just see how it <laughs> bakes out here in the next year. It may be too. Professor Jim Lackritz, John Neenstead.